Well, the most interesting part about learning the pottery was what they did with it. They grew like tomatoes, carrots, peppers, and stuff like that. So the snake signifies the how they found a place to live. We are a project-based learning school, and that means that we do projects where we integrate science, mathematics, literacy um, into um, projects that we do all together. So they're not always taught separately from each other. And for students at Clear Sky Elementary, this integrated learning project into the past civilizations of Central and South America was an eye-opening learning experience. One which exhibited how a journey into the past can help one learn about the present and the future. Aztecs farmed a lot different than we do. They farmed like in the water on a wooden dock. We usually just like go to the supermarket, buy what we need, but they actually like grew it, they made like all their meals. They also learned about the diversity in cultures and the extreme situations in which these civilizations were built and how they lived. They would turn it so the hole would be facing like one of these symbols. The Maya only enlarged their buildings on predetermined dates. When this was done, the new structures were simply built on top of existing buildings. Whoever loses, they would sacrifice the losing team to the their gods. And they put a rocket and they'd spin it around and let it go so the rock would come flying out and it was strong enough that it could pierce the Spaniards' armor. This is great. These kids have all done some really interesting projects. They're all really varied about different aspects of Aztec life, from, from war to games to their calendar. It's, it's a really interesting, it's a really cool project. These Clear Sky Elementary students were also very adept at incorporating the four C's into their project learning experience. We collaborated because we kind of each had our own part, but we kind of like, we made, we did everything together and then communication was, played a big part because some of this um, presentation we had to do at home. We want kids to be, be creative in their learning. We want them to work together and be collaborative. We want them to explore things and put their knowledge to use in a way that, that they can share it with other people. So I think they're doing a great job. 21st century learning skills were also utilized in helping the students not only grasp the concepts of what they were studying, but also in how they presented their projects. And this is a Incan suspension bridge. Five is one line, two lines is ten. Right here are all their gods that they like to worship. They would raise up the ground and dirt and mud to above two feet um, above the water. But regardless of the subject matter or content of a lesson, this project demonstrates that PBLs or project-based learning is very effective in engaging the students all while integrating multiple disciplines. It shows me that kids are learning um, based not only on sitting in a classroom and listening to a teacher speak, but getting out there and understanding for themselves what's really going on within their particular subject matter. So I think that's really great. Kids have to understand, have a deeper understanding than just sitting there and being told what to learn and being told information. They get in there and learn it themselves and then they can explain it to anybody, whether it's a kid or an adult, and they, that really shows that they've learned.